the Israel-Palestine conflict, ladies and gentlemen, the report from Tiger Mountain is going to wade right into the middle of it. Stick around and listen. The report from Tiger Mountain is going to deal with the Israel and Palestine conflict. We're going to solve. No, we're not. That, that conflict is absolutely unsolvable, as we keep seeing constantly on the news. But we're going to talk about it here. Um, there's a great meme online, I think, sums up my position. Essentially, I am anti-Israel. I'm somebody on the right who's anti-Israel. I mean, because I see absolutely no reason to like that country. Now, I mean, I have heard the arguments in favour of Israel. You know, it's not like I, I'm not completely unsympathetic to some of them. From a nationalist perspective, I understand what could be valuable about a kind of uh, kind of like a Jewish homeland from a nationalist perspective, you know, but are we allowed to copy the kind of thing that they're doing over there, which is a kind of ethno state and kind of almost basically an apartheid? And But no, because for us, we're, we're, being, we're being pushed kind of um, diversity and multiculturalism and destruction of our society all at the same time, whereas the actual kind of like, um, uh, how would you call it, fortification and um, building up of a kind of ethno state in Israel is praised. And the funniest thing is it's praised by many right wingers. I'm sure you've seen this around the place. And this is a very good sign. People often say, how do you, how can you tell controlled opposition? Who controlled opposition is on the right? Well, I'll tell you right now, those who support Israel, they're controlled opposition. And look, I probably would be too if, if I don't know, if Mossad delivered me a nice um, suitcase full of cash. I mean, I'll tell you what, if, if I start changing my tune in the next three to six months, you'll know that suitcase has arrived, you know? So I'll put it out there, you know? It should be full of uh, pounds or shekels or whatever whatever it is, right? You know, um, but you know, that's what's going on. But to me at the moment, until I get my bag of money from um, from this Israeli state, I think it's a curse on both their houses. And there's a great meme online where it's uh, Anakin Skywalker and Padme, um, you know, from, I think, Attack of the Clones, and she, he's saying, I'm anti-Israel, which I am. And then she goes, oh, then you must be pro-Palestinian. And then he just gives her this look. Like, nope, nope. Because I'm not pro-Palestinian either. This is the thing. I mean, I'm not fond of, I don't like Hamas. I don't like Islamic terrorism. And I don't feel a particular, um, what you call, um, I just don't feel a, a lot of love for the, Palis you know, the Palestinian people. I think that whole region is a fucking mess ruled over by psychopaths on both sides who are destroying each other. It's almost like they deserve each other in a way. They're just so, they're both so horrible and they are both at each other's throat. It's like some kind of, like, like they've got some karmic, um, it's almost like karma or something that they're working off that they've done something bad in past lives and they've now got to fight with each other forever or something. It's like some form of punishment watching what goes on. And also that part of the world, the shithole. The whole area. I mean, obviously, the Holy Land is interesting because, you know, where Jesus was, and obviously it's great to visit. Personally, I think the whole place was better run as a British colony, and I think it should have remained a British colony, uh, and we wouldn't have this problem now because, you know, the Jews are about to visit, Muslims are about to visit, and most, most importantly, we Christians who ran the joint up for, for up until recently, uh, we could go there any time we wanted, and also to be part of the Commonwealth, to be peaceful, there wouldn't be this whole bullshit with the Israel and Palestine conflict. Because my view is curse on both their houses, which is, of course, um, something from Romeo and Juliet and Shakespeare. Curse on both their houses, which I don't like either side. I don't like the Palestinians. Um, but then again, I can understand, you know, how the Palestinians are being screwed and how their land is constantly being stolen and, you know, how this kind of, you know, they use Hamas. There are rumours that Israel... Um, uh, secretly backs Hamas. So in other words, Hamas sends the rockets over and then, of course, you know, Israel can overreact and steal more Palestinian land. It's a bit the way, say, that the US deep state funds ISIS, you know, and things like that, and that Black Lives Matter is funded by Soros to push the globalist agenda. See, it's the old agent provocateur strategy of thing. So, you know, this is what's going on, and I think... Um, you know, I find it all, as I said, a curse on both their houses, and I think you should all be very suspicious of all these right-wingers. I mean... Even Donald Trump Jr. and all these people, they're all carrying on about how much they love Israel. It's like America is being destroyed and, you know, by Joe Biden and Joe Biden's monsters, which is his cabinet, um, you know, most of whom are Jewish, let's face it. And, um, you know, and it's unbelievable what's going on. And, uh, and yet they go, oh, we must defend Israel at all costs. It's like, fuck off, you know, get fucked. Curse on both their houses, which means they deserve each other and they're welcome to fight on forever. But obviously it would be good if some kind of peace would be walked out because we're all sick to fucking death of this problem and we're all sick to fucking death to hear, hearing about Israel and we're so sick to fucking death of hearing about uh, Palestine. So that's all I wanted to say. I got a little bit emotional perhaps. But um, that's the report from Tiger Mountain uh, on the whole Israel and Palestine conflict. No doubt this, this report will bring world peace. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.